This is answer 2021, section 1, question 18. Alex, Cameron and Sam are running a 400 meter race. Each of them runs at different constant speed. We're told that Alex runs 12% faster than Cameron and that Sam runs 2% slower than Cameron. And our question is, when Alex crosses the finish line, how many meters away is Sam? So how are we going to start with this question? Well, we have some information here about how people run um, in relation to other people. Let's see if we can write this numerically and see where that gets us. So we know that Alex is 12% faster than Cameron. How would we write this in sort of a numerical algebraic way? So if I use A to represent Alex and C to represent Cameron, A is going to be 1.12 times Cameron. So that's 112% or 12% faster than Cameron. And if we do the same thing for Sam, um, Sam is going to be 2% slower than Cameron or 98% of Cameron's. So 0.98 times C. Now, our question asks us for basically a comparison of Alex and Sam. So we kind of want to get an equation that puts um, our A and S together in the same equation. And you can see they have a similar term here. They both have C in their um, equation. So if we rearrange uh, one of them to find C, so let's say we rearrange this top one to get C, we get C equals A over 1.2, 1.12. And we can now substitute this in to our equation for Sam. So we know that sum is 0.08 times our A over 1.12. So simplifying this down, there we go, 0.08 A over 1.12. And this can, we can find the equivalent uh, fraction to this is 7 over 8 A. So we know that sum uh, runs at a speed that is 7 eighths of Alex's. This is also going to relate to the distance they both run. If they're running at a constant speed, the difference in their speeds is going to be the difference in their distances too. So we can think of this as the distance that Sam runs is also 7 eighths of the distance that Alex runs. Now, we want to know where Sam is when Alex crosses the finish line. And because the race is 400 metres, that means Alex is going to run that 400 metres. So if we uh, use that in our equation for A, we get 7 eighths times 400. So if I divide this by 8 first, we're going to get 7 times 50, and then that gives us 350. So Sam runs 350 metres when Alex finishes the race. That means he must be only 50 metres away. And that's our final answer. So our answer is F.